Here, just hold this. Don't push any of the buttons now. Let me see what it says. Okay, yep. Okay, now just watch over the hill here so everybody can see what it looks like. And explain to them what they're seeing. Hey, everybody. It's uh, Chris, Jackie Gill's son. Um, we're just entering Duluth. We're just going over the uh, hill for the City on the Hill Music Festival. Let's still on there? Yeah. And just tell them what they're seeing as they're going to come over this hill. Yeah, we're currently at the Holiday Gas Station nearby. We're coming into Duluth, coming where you're going to see Lake Superior. It's your first view of seeing it coming over the hill. And it's quite breathtaking if you've never seen it before. It's, um, most people are just like, oh my gosh, when they see it. But it's just a beautiful sight at first. So he'll show you here in a minute. We're on 35 North. And we we have to stop, you know, a, 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 like a three and a half hour trip for us takes about five hours because we have to stop a lot to give any medications along the way and you know you have potty breaks and you want to get something to eat and we um, are never in a huge hurry to get where we're going but you can start to see this here from here it's kind of a little foggy it looks like today but it's still really quite the sight to see I'm on top of the world every time I see this area. So show them over at the lake there. Yep. Now. Lake Superior right there in all of its glorification. Yeah, Lake Superior is actually the largest of the Great Lakes. Just to let you know. It's right over there. Get a good view of it so they can see it. I'm zooming in on it for you folks. Look at down there now. Yeah, I know. There's the city of Duluth. Shine over that way, please. Yeah. So I can see it. And, and really, once you go down the hill, you can't see it as good. But coming over the top like that, it's just really like, wow. We've been coming up here now for like, what, nine years? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've actually um, we've been making this our, tra our summer tradition. Uh, officially, we started making uh, summer vacations up here um, shortly before I actually went to McNally Smith the summer of my junior year back at Rosemont High School. And then the summer before I went to McNally Smith, we uh, started coming here. But we've actually made it our tradition for several years now to go to the music festival, the City on the Hill Music Festival. And so this is kind of like what we do every summer, first week of August. Go there um, as a family. We the f the very first time we went here, we actually went to the Glenshine Mansion. Um, we also went to um, the Leaf Erickson Park. There's a malt shop. The aqua there's an aquarium, a zoo. Um, the train. Train. Yeah, we're going to the train too. Train. There's a train ride that we go on. Um, Up to the North Shore. Yeah, North Shore Scenic Pizza Railroad. Train. Yep, pizza train. They serve like these little um, kind of like fun size pizzas and stuff like that. And they have like a dessert and everything like that. So um, shout out to North Shore Scenic Railroad if you're listening. Love you guys. <laughs> Maybe that was that <laughs> Toot back. I love you guys too. Thank you. No, I mean seriously. Seriously, this, this whole place is just like a home away from home. It's like if, if it's literally a part of my DNA, honestly. It's like it's just so beautiful, so scenic and so serene and everything, and it's just it's just, just so beautiful. It's one of, in my opinion, a truly breathtaking, nurturing, naturistic kind of like experience. It's just there's so much so much going on here, and it's also a part of Minnesota's longtime history, so it's also very historical. It's actually one of the areas where um, I believe it was where northern folk first settled here, honestly. Um, so that makes it all the more beautiful and historical and everything like that. So and it's a port city. Yeah, uh, and also uh, Chester Congdon, one of my favorite um, entrepreneurial 
um, spirits, actually, uh, who it was the proprietor and the owner of the Glensheen Mansion. Um, another one of my business influences, long time, I think he had a mighty great thing going with the iron ore industry, just as kind of like a business venture. Um, I think he really was a, a visionary for his time, so... A lot of great inspiration and everything coming out of Duluth, Minnesota here, so kind of on the highway here heading in there, so. Pretty soon we'll be able to see the bridge where we're staying by. And hey, shout out to Trey Stafford and uh, Adelita's Way and Theory of a Dead Man. We're staying right across from Symphony Hall where um, you guys are going to be singing in October and we'll be seeing ya. And um, so, just so you know, huh? Oh, and it's Yasani's birthday, Trey's wife's birthday today, I guess, Chris said. Yeah, so in a couple happy days. Happy birthday, Yasania. Happy birthday, Mrs. Stafford. And um, I hope you can come with in October. That would be great. Um, I don't know if you will, but... And if there's any oils you need, holler, and I'll make sure Troy gets them um, at that time. So, but we're getting closer now to the bridge, and look over there now. I, you should see the bridge from here, I think. Chris, can you see the bridge from here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is, way over there. Isn't that it? Yep, the lift bridge right over there, yep. Is that it? Yeah, it's over there. Or that, or no, no, that's going over to Wisconsin, sorry. I get I get carried away. It looks yeah, like it, but... It's a big area. Yeah, oh, there it is, yep. It's in the distance there. Yeah. yeah. And Grandma's, Andy's favorite, and everybody's yeah. favorite, uh, saloon and Where they have grill and everything. Marathon, it's over there, yeah, yeah. It's we there. don't come up for that, but um, we definitely come up here and we'll be eating here probably Sunday before we go back. If not, one of the other days. It just depends on how late they sleep in. Because it's packed there, and you have to wait a good, you know, sometimes up to two hours to get seated in that place. Yep, lift bridge right over there. Yep, it's over there a ways, mm -hmm. but we'll be getting closer. So, and they've been doing a lot of road construction on the highway here. So, but it is a, and sh show them over here to the left how high those hills are. Yeah. The hills are really high here. Yeah. Um, I don't, do not think I could live here in wintertime with the ice and snow and those hills. That would be insanity right there. Mm -hmm. But... Anyway, Andy's getting kind of antsy now because he wants to get out of his chair and lay down for a little bit before we go on that um, train ride. And we're just coming into the downtown area, which is where those guys will be playing. But yeah, it's right. we're right close by, just across the uh, canal from Symphony Hall where, where those guys will be singing at deck Symphony Hall. And it's such a neat area. I don't think they've been up here before, have they? I don't think so. I don't think you have. Ooh. Please tell me I can get off on my exit. Or I'm gonna cry. Um, if I can't get off on my exit, I am lost. But I think I can. There. We could not get off at Toby's, damn it, in Hinkley. We couldn't get cinnamon and caramel rolls, damn it. Because they're um, doing road... Oh, shush up, you guys, man. Cut us some slack. We don't want to miss our turn. And there's Bayfront Music Park Festival yeah, Park. Yeah, that's where yep. the concerts will be tomorrow. Yep. Saturday. It's right by the waters, yep. Corey Asbury, I can't wait to see you. Yep. Ah! Yeah, the big draws this year um, for uh, Friday are Matt Maher and Toby Mack. Saturday is Katie Nicole, Corey Asbury, as mentioned by Mom, and Matthew West. So it's always a great lineup. And also, just as Toby. a... Toby. Mm -hmm. Love you, Toby. <laughs> Love every single one of you. Yeah. Um, and M Matthew, too. If I can just say this publicly, I just want to say God bless all of you who are part of Christian music as a whole. Thank you for being part of the most diversified era of music. 
That's coming from a person who's actually been a longtime fan, but since I can't actually publicly say it on Instagram, uh, I want to say it on Facebook Live, by the way. God bless every single one of you for what you do. Okay. So your amp soil, just give them a shot of amp soil. Yep. Um, the back of it is Symphony Hall. So it's kind of like Roy Wilkins and XL Energy Center guys. So kind of like that. over here to go to that um, railroad. I think it's over here. Right? It's so hard um, until you get like in the neighborhood you want to go into, but I see here they cut off our street. Oh shoot, how do you get over there then? How do you get over there? Uh, oh, it might be one-sided or something. Yeah, I guess you can still get across, but you can't get off on the exit, so you have to take this exit and then go... Um, I'm glad we saw this here before we left. And then it's over here. So, gotta go down a couple blocks in, that, in the downtown area to get onto the train. So, it'll be a little bit of an interesting situation for the concert goers tomorrow. If you don't stay in, if you don't decide to come and stay for this, for the couple of days that it's going on for, you're probably gonna be screwed. <laughs> Let's just be honest. And there's no blunt way to put it, really, because there's just, um, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's so touristy here and stuff that you really have to stay. It's hard to get parking and stuff otherwise and stuff, and it's, it's not really walking distance, not for us, because we have to go across the bridge, and when you got somebody in a wheelchair and stuff, if, if you didn't have that, um, uh, Andy in a wheelchair, it'd be a lot easier to just hoof it, mm -hmm. but um, it's too much. It's really too much with him in a wheelchair. He doesn't understand all that and stuff, so, but here we go now on to um, our street where we're going to our hotel. So, it's pretty easy to find once to get here, and Canal Park is all kinds of shops, as mm -hmm. you can sort of see. Show them around, Chris. Yeah on both sides. It's all kinds of shops and restaurants and stuff and hotels and there's a lot to do here. Lighthouses to see mm -hmm. all the ships coming in and stuff from all over the world and so where we, we stay we get to see all that right outside of our window. Mm -hmm. So it's it's well worth the money that you spend to stay there. Um, we spend quite a bit staying there but it's well worth it because you get such a great view of everything and um, we have a suite there so we have our own little living room and everything in there and stuff and it's worth it but see the bridge straight ahead mm -hmm. that's the famous aerial lift bridge in Duluth here and it's well worth going into or coming to see and we go across there and we just stay right on the other side of it so we can see Symphony Hall and Amsoil from where we're staying. I don't know where those guys are going to be, but, or if at all, just depends, I suppose, on the schedule. But you can hear the boats already tooting. Hear them? So it might be that the bridge is going to have to go up. Um, Andy likes to lay in bed and watch the lift go up and down, the bridge lift go up and down all night long. <laughs> And it's kind of fun. Yeah, I think it is going up, isn't it? Yep. It's going up, I think. Right now. And there's grandma's. There's grandma's where we, we like to go eat. Mm -hmm. Shout out to grandma's. Well, maybe. It's the restaurant experience. Authentic and genuine, unlike the which you have never seen before. It's truly um, one in a... Trillions. It's beautiful. Make sure there's no boats coming. Yep. Now we're on the lift bridge, everybody. Yeah. See, that's our hotel right, mm -hmm. oh, right to the right. South Pier and There we are. And show them Lake Superior. Yep. The there's there. Canal Park. Look at that huge ship over there. I wonder what that is. That's really big, whatever that is. It'll be coming in here pretty soon. And here we are, South Pier Inn. Yup. Home sweet home.
<laughs> home sweet home. It looks packed home. for the weekend, except they have our spot ready to go. Yeah. In yeah, like Flynn, my in like Flynn, my guys. We're all checking in. Mm hmm. Am I getting into the right spot here? Yeah. And we always stay in the same spot. Whoa. So that was that, and we are here, and we're going to unpack and get over. And oh, there's Andy, by the way. Say hi, uh, Andy. Get on that train and enjoy a nice. Two and a half, three hour trip up to the There's north shore. There's me and my wacky hair. <laughs> so I'll let you start getting and out, okay? All right. All right. Talk to you guys later.